Hello guys! In this video I show you a lesson with one of my students. Compared to the normal lesson, this is way harder for my student and uh, even for me. Because it's a lesson about the numbering, but most importantly a lesson on the numbering without driving assist. No ABS, no traction control, no stability control, no racing line assist, just pure drive. My student said me it's first time on this track after a long time, so he has no experience on this track. Uh, this is the third hour on this track, and our goal is to make the wall up without mistakes. Without mistakes, I mean uh, the lap must be, mustn't be uh, invalidated by kitting the track. Imagine uh, you're new on this track and trying to do a wall fast hot lap without assist and without kitting the track. And maybe you could imagine the difficulty of this lesson. Ah, uh, in some parts uh, my, vo my voice uh, is a bit low. I had a little issue with my microphone. For that reason, uh, use uh, the subtitle. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so, uh, do you have the setup ready or do you want mine? Uh, actually, let's go back to this. Yeah, I have yours. I've saved from previous time. Yes. Sir. And I'm, I'm going to using the first one which you gave. Okay. However, during that first one, I changed suspension. Ah, you put softer suspension, I guess, because uh, yeah. the track is quite bumpy. So yes. Yep. I'm setting. Wait a second. Uh, anyway, I don't change for me because I'm okay with it. You see, tire is okay. Okay, the damages are deactivated in that way. If we crash, we don't lose time uh, returning to the pits. Uh, so it's okay. Do you have question before we go? Um, do you want to go first or second? Ah, uh, that's uh, it's your lesson. You decide. <laughs> Let me go first. Uh, it will be easier for you to see and. Okay. Just keep in mind, I will be breaking a bit earlier. Don't worry, it's good. Okay, let's go. There are some corners where my line is not ideal yet. Like I see that, I just need to get used to more. Ah, to lead break. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Uh, Starts to worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be more attentive. Next. Push on the exit. Anyway, this car, uh, almost all good uh, GT4 uh, cars don't spin on the exit because. Uh, Big tires and not the yarn so powerful compared to the GT3 car, so you can go to the top out. We almost all have them. Stay close to the border when you break. Uh, you were being too much on the center to the track. Careful. Uh. Yeah. Be more aggressive on the inside curb when you see the curb isn't uh, too high. Okay. Switch to the right, uh, this is out, uh, right here. Yep. This is all shot out. Uh, right, keep the inside. Okay, you can switch on the outside. 
inside and now he's with the inside now keep the right okay with the throttle a bit no no need to break no need to break you have just to lift the throttle <laughs> I tried a couple of times and I failed, so I thought, let's take it easy. Remember to break before mm -hmm. the jump. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. And um, we'll flat out here. We are all flat out. Flat out. Okay, almost flat out. Okay. Yes, low here. Low. Okay, nice. Here. Jump and cut. Jump and cut. Jump and cut. Great, we jump on the curb. Okay, almost got out here. Okay, here slow down. Jump more on the curb, more aggressive on the inside. Nice. Ah. I know. That's why I hate them. This little jump, it screws up everything. One important thing, guys. I made a whole video about curbs. How to take them, type of curbs, etc. on my channel. So I won't re-explain you everything here. I just want to tell you a few things. One. Curbs aren't considered part of the track, but uh, despite that they must be used to use the wall space of the track to follow the ideal racing line. 2. You don't have to be afraid of curbs. Use them. Let your suspension do their job for you. Don't hesitate. 3. The secret to don't spin on a curb is to be smooth. Avoid fast reaction with the steering wheel, brake and throttle. You have to be gentler with these three elements while passing over a curb. If you are smooth, you'll see the car won't spin. 4. Once you hit the apex, hit the inside curb. If you keep following it and accelerating on it, you'll spin. Avoiding the curves now. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean... You give up with the curves. <laughs> what's more important right now? Like, are we focusing on clean lap or yes. on the you're fast right, lap? You're right. It's more important to keep the control of the car. <laughs> See, you still even don't go touch the curb. It's a special talent. Nice. Great. Close to the curb, uh, not mount on the curb, but uh, okay, in a sec. Lift a bit of water here. Break. 
standing side. Ah, Come on. Ah, oh, I got oh, my rear. Oh. I got my rear. Yeah. One wheel. One wheel. Ah. Came out. Better safe. I want this lap clean. I didn't want to go off the track. I know, but like, it's important to keep a decent speed as well. But like, it's so difficult to make a safe, clean, you know, I lap. Know. Like, how many times did we try? This is our first one. <laughs> yes, I think. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, break, don't. break, don't talk, break, break, <laughs> come on, <laughs> yes, there we go, it's actually quicker than in my practice laps. After that lap, he made one clean second but slower lap. That means he started to understand better the track. I told him uh, to work more on his constancy, finding uh, a comfortable race pace. And when the constancy will be on point, then he can start push pushing more. Because, uh, as you know, it's useless to push more if you don't know how to keep the car on the track yet. About my private lessons, I received a lot, a lot, a lot of requests. I don't have enough time to answer everyone. For the moment my agenda is full, so I can't accept a few of the students. When I'll be able again, uh, I'll inform you in the community tab of my channel. I hope uh, you liked this video and uh, you learned something more about driving on the Northlight. See you in the next video!